Hey there guys, this is Chris, and you're currently looking at Wayward Souls. It's a uh, sort of secret of mana, traditional 16-bit action RPG, but with a little bit of rogue thrown into it, and um, it's available for um, iPad and iPhone. Currently I'm playing the iPhone build. Let's get started. Straight from the get-go you can see that there are a bunch of heroes that you can play as. You know, that you have your standard warrior, mage, and rogue, but then you also have these unlockable ones like adventurer, spell sword, and cultist, um, each of which require some sort of achievement. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I have uh, messed around with each and every one of these. Uh, I'm going to start off with the warrior just because it's sort of the easiest to show off. And um, as you can see, I already have some money. I've played through each of these characters, and you only really get one life in this game um, each time you go through, but you can upgrade and level up um, so it makes the game a little easier that's what the money is for and so right now I'm gonna upgrade ferocity which increases a little bit of my critical so it's now at level two and we're gonna start this dungeon out the game uses virtual controls the left side of the screen uh, I'm using like a pretend joystick the right I'm tapping to slash, so I can go in here and slash. If I hold down, I do a sort of charge attack that I can then do a dashing attack. If I swipe up, then I get a projectile axe, but if I swipe down, I use a defensive move, which in this case is a shield. Kick already. This game has actually become my, and just in the day that I played it, has become my go-to commute game. It's perfect on the train. Uh, I'm in New York City, so there's a lot of subways. Um, as long as I can grab a seat, I should be able to play it. But each one of the characters plays a little differently. The uh, rogue is much lighter but much more agile and uh, deals with backstabs. In fact, there's a sort of dashing attack that you can use to dash through enemies and then sort of stab them in the back. And the mage is sort of your standard glass cannon style uh, trope where you, you know, very good at ranged attacks uh, but you do not want to close in at all. Every time you beat a level you regain a little bit of your health and you're going to need to conserve every bit of that because this is a merciless game in terms of uh, potions and health and uh, basically, basically just stay alive. And each one of these tile sets is sort of uh, randomly generated. Um, every time you play a dungeon, like Diablo style or Rogue style more accurately, it, um, it's a new experience, so you never know exactly what you're going to get, but it's not so random that you don't know what enemies you're going to be facing. I hate those bats so much. If I go into this menu, I also you can also see, like, you know, I can bring up a map, uh, what my equipment is, what this item is, for example, which items are very clutch because, again, you need to survive in this. But more importantly, I can open up hats, and I only have one hat right now, which is a bat hat, which I just equipped, and is very important because it's a bat. That's also a hat. In terms of controls, making a difficult game, especially one that's a roguelike, that controls decently is kind of a huge task, you know, it's really, really frustrating uh, if you die. So the question is, does it control well? And the answer is, it controls as well as it's going to on an iPad or an iPhone. The iPad version is ideal, you know, you don't have your fingers sort of obscuring the screen. But I, I've actually been really impressed with how tight the controls are, and I, I find myself getting more angry at myself than I do getting angry at the game because of shitty implementation. One thing I do wish um, I could do was shoot on diagonals, at least with the mage character. Maybe that was an intentional design choice, but on the whole, I kind of do hate having to square myself at a 90 degree angle every time I want to shoot something. When playing as the warrior, I find that the 
charge attack is really, really useful for closing distance uh, very quickly. Um, it's a little look like the rogue's attack, um, or the, the rogue's dodge uh, ability, but um, it makes it easy to sort of like go in there and then sort of run away pretty quickly. So you can see my health is not ideal. And I'm dead. Oh, R.I.P. Blythe the Warrior, slain by the Orc Stabber on the third floor of the Cursed Hollows. But I got 159 coins out of it. Uh, I'm just going to really quickly show you another one of the characters. So, as you can see, now I have 170 coins. I can go in here. And now I can use that, say, to upgrade to Dagger Toes, which makes kicking more viable. Or this uh, Dash Confusion ability. And, you know, if you're not doing particularly well with one character, you can actually go and use one of your stronger characters to farm some gold and actually, you know, make make the weaker class a little easier for you. And there's the dashing ability. So that's a quick look at Wayward Souls. A um, beautiful game, great 16-bit uh, style art. Um, uh, really, really shockingly good soundtrack. It's sort of ambient and really calming in the middle of what would other otherwise be a stressful game. There we got a backstab. It's out now for iOS for five dollars and it's actually only going to get more expensive. Uh, we talked to the developer on this and he has a very uh, specific stance on how uh, incentivization systems work and how you know s these, these stay sales make it so that people usually wait on a game so if you want to play this game, if it looks interesting for you, it's only going to get more expensive. It's going to get a little more expensive, but it, he's really trying to reward people who, you know, go out of their way to support a developer on their first day. So pick it up now, and thanks for watching, guys. So uh, in this game, you are uh, an amorphous blob. And the only way you can control yourself is by removing cells. In fact, you're actually not pushing, you're just uh, destroying.